Hey, you don't hear. Okay, so um, I figured out that my processor is a 64-bit, and I found the Windows official uh, Windows 7 download site. So uh, that uh, 4050E processor is a dual core, like I said, 2100 megahertz, 64-bit. Uh, that's a good, this is a good site. Uh, it's got real detailed information. CPU world, I just go to Google and uh, usually to get there, you know, to find whatever. It's usually in the top few links. So anyway, I went back to my page, I actually, uh, my links from uh, the downloads where I originally downloaded those ISOs and they've taken, the pages have been updated saying, well, they've taken them down <coughs> and they're changed now. And anyway, at some point in my, my, in my uh, shortcuts, in my bookmarks in Firefox, I had uh, a link to this page. I went straight to it. And that's why I save all my everything I find in bookmarks. That's the best way for me to get back to stuff. So anyway, if you need the, you know, it tells you all about it and what their conditions are. And if you need to, uh, this is Microsoft.com, so and so, so and so site. So. Um, that way, you know, you won't be worried about downloading some virus on your, in your install ISO. And, uh, you know, the only thing they've changed now is uh, that you need to put in your uh, your key, your product key. So let me do that and uh, get that downloading, and then I'll just put that on my uh, SD card. And uh, then I'll have to run that uh, defrag on it again and all that stuff for easy to boot. So uh, then I'll try and see if it'll run. All right.